Rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> oh, petty. I wonder what pet T means. Like, does she have a pet that she really likes? <laughs> petty and T. I, 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 I was so dumb. <laughs> so they already know that I'm dropping a T. So let's get right into it. First of all, we want to start off by saying rest in peace to Steven Twitch boss. As many of you know, he passed away at the age of 40. And the official cause of his passing has been revealed by the coroner and they confirmed that it was indeed self-inflicted as he reportedly left his car at home, took a 15 minute walk to a local motel that he called beforehand to make sure that they had a room vacant. And they're claiming that when he checked in, he didn't appear to be in any distress. Didn't show any signs of distress. That he only had a small bag with him. But when it came time for checkout, he didn't do so. So the maid went to go check on him and found him in the bathroom. The maid reportedly found him while doing a welfare check when he missed checkout. That's just sad. Now let's go to the next point. According to Columbus Short, the reason that he did that is because he made a bad investment and lost all of his life savings. Wow. And word for word, verbatim, here's exactly what Columbus said. R.I.P. Twitch. R.I.P. Twitch. And what I talked about earlier, you guys don't know what people are going through. Um, you know. Um, you know. People made investments. People lose a lot of things. People made investments. People lose a lot of things. Um, this is just a theory. Um, and um, you know, people are awful. They are mean. Like people, like Twitch are not awful. Twitch are not awful. Twitch was amazing. Was amazing. It's still amazing. Twitch is ama was amazing. His legacy shall live on. But you know, what if you invest in something um, that uh, that took your whole life savings? What if you invest in something that? Uh, took your whole life savings. Possibly. Um, yeah, it gets it gets rough. Um, you know, I don't want to speak too much on that. I don't want to speak too much on that. Yeah, but what I will speak to, Tracy Christian still haven't given me my money. Tracy Christian still haven't given me my money. And this is what I'm talking about. It's like, why? Because you got caught up. You can't pay me my money in a trust account. I do not trust your account. I do not trust you, Tracy Christian. I do not trust you, Tracy Christian. And I'm not going to kill myself. I promise you that. So pay me my money. I'm not going to kill myself. I promise you that. So pay me my money. Wow. That last line was so insensitive. Like what? I can't. But yeah, so Columbus is into all that stock, crypto, NFT, investment world stuff. For those who don't know, there's been a lot of that world crashing down and people have been losing large investments. And the person who he is referring to, Tracy Christian, is the owner of a talent agency. And y'all know he's an actor, so they know each other through that acting world. She allegedly has been recruiting people with money to put money into a certain investment, promising them large and bigger than life returns. However, she got scammed. And this is linked to FTX. Mm-hmm. And that's the trust fund that she allegedly got the money in. Like, why? Because you got caught up. You can't pay me. But like I said, folks got juked, so there's no money to return. All their monies got stolen by the chief executive officer. This is one of the biggest financial frauds in American history. And for those who don't know, FTX is the latest Ponzi scheme, the latest crypto scam that has caused so many to also lose their life savings or huge amounts of money as they all got swindled into this investment because they used the likeness of celebrities to help endorse it to make it seem like it was legit. And in return, people have been losing all of their life savings, including Twitch, allegedly. And the FTX thing has been sending many into a great depression. Some lost thousands, some lost millions behind it, and there's even a guy who allegedly lost over a billion dollars. So it's bad. FTX customers were defrauded of more than eight billion dollars. FTX was super trusted, which is why folks dumped all of their money into it, thinking that it was going to be their jackpot to cure all of their financial problems. But instead, they're now all in a financial ruin. And let's face it, some people cannot handle losses that big. Just imagine losing every single penny that you've worked all of your life for in one single investment. And when it comes to money and men who are the sole providers for their families, there has been a long history of them panicking when their backs were against the wall financially and they lost all of their money that they were supposed to be taking care of their families with. In the year of 1929, when the stock market crashed and investors lost everything in that crash causing the Great Depression, 
there were a lot of reports of men immediately taking their own lives back then as soon as the market crashed. Cause you know, when it comes to the stock market, you literally watch your numbers go either up or down and they watch their numbers go all the way down. So back in that day, when that happened, there were several men who immediately jumped out of windows and skyscrapers and all that. I cannot make this up, you can Google it, okay? And some may disagree with what I'm about to say, but in my humble opinion, the stock market, the crypto world, and all those kinds of things are a gamble. And especially when you put large amounts into them, it's a gamble period. Cause no matter what you think you know, you never know what can happen and you can literally lose it all in a blink of an eye. And not to get so much into me as I hate to bring myself into this, but I cannot not say this. Even me in 2021, I literally lost everything in that world. I'm talking every single penny that I've ever saved up to that point, gone. Just like that in a snap of a finger. Because I wanted some quick money, so I took a risk and put all my money into the stock world and the crypto world. And chill, biggest mistake ever. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trusting hearsay. And every time I looked up, I was in the negatives heavily. And I was so shocked that I left them there. I kept on thinking, no, it's going to go back up. It's going to go back up. It has to. But it never did. But instead of going crazy or crying, I took the L responsibly because I knew it was a risk when I got into it. And honestly, before that, I was so careful with money, I wouldn't even lose a dollar. All I did was pay bills and that's it. Everything else, I ain't spend money on bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't buy expensive things. I just kept it strictly for bills. You know? Like, before that, I never gambled. I don't go to casinos and that's because i've never believed in luck just hard work so i had to take my l with my chest because it's like why did i even do that i really let social media get to me because it was around the time when folks kept saying go buy amc or go buy this go buy that dogecoin chill i'll let them get me and instead of making a small investment because of the fact that i was tired of working i said f that and put everything into it and lost everything and i do mean everything that i'll probably never recover from but i took it as a hard lesson learned that i'm never going to try to get it the fast unsure way ever again facts but anyway let's go back to steven twitch boss as y'all know he passed away from self-infliction on december 13 the coroner has confirmed and ironically that very same day the founder of ftx sam bankman was arrested and charged with fraud you know for stealing his ftx customers monies use that money for his personal benefit disgrace former ftx ceo in handcuffs that's crazy especially because that happened on the same day and that columbus short is insinuating that he did what he did because he lost all his money in a bad investment but once again rest in peace switch our thoughts and prayers are with his family but what are y'all thinking we want to know so leave your thoughts below and don't forget to like this video share this content and if it's your first time here be sure to sub to this channel for more and be sure to also hit that bell to join the notification gang petsyblog.com signing out